Good morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Friday, August 17th. A robbery at a North Philadelphia Rite Aid turns into a brawl, leaving a Philadelphia police officer hurt. Police say the suspect was robbing the Rite Aid on the 2100 block of North Broad around 1 a.m. when a security guard went up to him. The suspect reportedly pulled a knife on the guard, then took off. Police later found the suspect on North Jessup Street, and that's where a fight broke out. An officer suffered a cut on his nose, and fellow officers then arrested the suspect. And Philadelphia police have now identified the suspect wanted in a deadly stabbing at a Center City SEPTA station. This is the suspect, Zaire Bennett Warwick. Police say he should be considered armed and dangerous. The stabbing happened on August 9th at the Jefferson Station. That's at 10th and Filbert. Police arrived to find a man suffering with multiple stab wounds. The victim later died at a hospital. And New Jersey employers added 13,000 jobs in July, and the unemployment rate fell from 4.3 to 4.2 percent. That's actually the lowest statewide unemployment rate since July of 2007, and is slightly lower than the national average. Officials say the job growth was in part fueled by the opening of two New Jersey hotels in Atlantic City. So good news to hear there. Okay, let's check in now with meteorologist Katie Failinger. And Katie, today may be a good day for the beach. Tomorrow, I don't know. Mm, yeah, yeah, you know, things do unfortunately start to go downhill heading into the weekend. I don't think we're talking about a washout of a weekend, but there is a front that's stalling nearby. And you know how those tend to operate when it comes to our weather pattern. It does mean we will have to deal with some showers and storms heading into the weekend. But even later on today, that's a concern. Our severe weather threat actually encompassing the entire Delaware Valley. Most of us sit in a marginal risk, but far to the north, northern Lehigh Valley on and points on north, you're in a slight risk. So it's the next step up on the category there. But our primary concerns look to be heavy rain as well as frequent lightning, but I wouldn't rule out some strong wind, possibly even some hail, especially in that yellow shaded area. And it mainly happens later on today, starting first from northwest to southeast. So it's in the Poconos earliest, in the Philly area, right around six-ish, give or take. And then overnight it would get to the shore. So you do eke out a pretty decent beach day today, the weekend night not as much, but if you're not a fan of the heat, that's one positive about this. This front does at least help scale back the worst of those daytime highs. Rahel? All right, Katie, thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecasts and the latest stories right here on cbsphilly.com. That's the latest for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.